Welcome to RM Edge Academy channel. Question 4 of exercise 6.2 says in figure 6.31 if PQ is parallel to ST, angle PQR is 110 degree and angle RST is 130 degree. Find QRS. We will draw a line parallel to ST through R. We know PQ is parallel to ST and we also know that MN is parallel to ST construction. So from first and second, can I conclude that PQ is parallel to MN? Hence, MN is parallel to PQ and MN is also parallel to ST. It means PQ is parallel to MN, MN is parallel to ST. That means all the three lines are parallel to each other. Now let's find out angle QRS. PQ is parallel to MN, we know that. QR is a transversal because it intersects line PQ and MR. Theorem 6.4 says, if a transversal, that is QR, intersects two parallel lines, MN and PQ, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. That means sum of angle PQR and angle MRQ is 180 degree. So PQ is parallel to MN, QR is transversal, hence angle PQR plus angle MRQ is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because interior angle on the same side of transversal are supplementary. Angle PQR is 110 degree, angle MRQ is 180 degree minus 110 degree which is equal to 70 degree exactly hence angle MRQ is 70 degree now look carefully ST is parallel to MN RS is a transversal that is it intersects MN and ST then Angle RST is equal to angle MRS. Why? Because of alternate interior angles. So let's do it. MN is parallel to ST. RS is a transversal. Hence angle RST is equal to angle MRS. But MRS is equal to 130 degree. Can I write angle MRS as summation of angle MRQ and angle QRS? Angle MRQ plus angle QRS is equal to 130 degree. Angle MRQ is 70 degree. So angle QRS would be equal to 130 degree minus 70 degree which is equal to 60 degree. 60 degree. A quick recap. Follow the steps to find out the angle QRS. The very first step is to do the construction. Second step is to find angle MRQ. Third step, angle MRS is equal to angle RST because of alternate interior angles. Angle MRS can be expressed as angle MRQ plus angle QRS, which is equal to 130 degree and find out the angle QRS. This brings us to an end of this question. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.